Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. Uh, in this real-time scenario videos, uh, today video, I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenarios. How to handle, how to handle. Uh, whenever you are creating a table, uh, joining multiple data frames, uh, you, you can find some duplicate metadata error, or I can say uh, duplicate columns error. So you can get exception whenever we are going to join two tables or you can say join two data frames and finally saving data into delta table. So let's take one example, understand this clearly. What exactly these kind of issues? Consider I'll create a new notebook. How to handle duplicate column error in PySpark. Let's increase the size. What I'll do, I'll take two uh, files. I'm already uploaded in this my workspace. Let's uh, take those two files. Uh, just uh, verify the data is available or not. I'm using a head, file store, tables. So the table, one of the file is employee file. Let's verify. So first time when we are running it will take some time just yeah so this is employee file which is having some employee details we will consider this is a department number foreign key in this table or you can say in this file we'll go with another file which is department so that table also will have another column as department number so we will use this two and we'll create a two data frames So using spark.read.csv, then we'll specify that file and we'll specify header equal to true. Same, similarly, I'll create another data frame department and the data frame and file also is specified. Let's create this. Okay, let's join this to uh, before that, you can I will show you the data display. First, employee data frame data. You see, department number is there. Then another data frame. This one. Okay. Now, whenever you join this, consider I'm going to join this too. I'm going to join this too uh, using uh, join and uh, the left data frame. Sorry, left data frame, then join, right data frame, comma, join condition. So this two data frames is having a common column as department number equal to, this data frame also is having department number. And I'll use inner join, okay. Just to close properly. Okay, so when it comes to here, uh, this data frame is having a department number, but problem is this is different case, this is different case. This is upper case, this is initial cap. So anyway, PySpark is Python is case sensitive, both it will read differently, you see this. This both are department number only, but both it will treat differently. But when it comes to storing this data into table, let's create a, another data frame, final data frame from both joining this two. Okay, this is the final data frame. I want to create a table. So write format delta. Then save as table. So I'm going to create this entire data frame columns into table. Let's run this. So it is raising exception saying that found duplicate columns in table definition. So when, when it comes to delta table, metadata, 
when it comes to metadata, metadata won't allow duplicate column names. The same table, it won't allow duplicate column names. But data frame, you can find this. Data frame, it is working fine. Both the columns, it is working fine. Okay. So in this scenario, what we can do? If both the data frames is having a same column while joining, while joining, even if you are going for left outer join or if you are going for inner join. Okay. So you see the same column is available twice. It is raising the exception. So what you can do if both are having a same column as a join, instead of specifying two columns, just specify one column. Just specify one column and the output data frame you see this output data frame the left data frame column name it is considered and the right data frame column name it is not considered now if you create a table it will allow why because you don't have a duplicate column names you don't have a duplicate column names even i can show you that after uh, creation you can find the table with all columns okay so there is another option which we can go with the uh, deleting col columns after joining so now it is created a table you see this it is created and uh, this is a left data frame left data frame column and right data frame that data is not available anyway it is null but it is taken so this way which we can overcome these kind of exceptions or you can say errors another option is which you can delete after creating a data frame if you have any duplicates if you want to delete those duplicate columns which you can write one function and which you can delete duplicate columns so that we will see in another video if you like this video please uh, subscribe my channel and share this video see you in another video in another video we will see how to delete column names dynamically even you no need to go with this option even if you have a dynamic columns like uh, multiple columns are available if you want to remove those dynamically we will create a python function and we will remove that that we will see in another video Thank you. See you in another video.